Okay, good day to everyone. So, we are now on the lesson 3. So, let us click the button. Lesson 3. So, if we look at the lesson 3. So, we have here, welcome to lesson 3, Rogelio. Um, it's about verb. So, verb, a word used to describe an action, state, or occurrence, and forming the main part of the predicate of a sentence as, as here become and happen so we have here types of verbs okay so types of verbs we have uh, types of verb in english with example verb we have finite verb non-finite verb action helping verb Linking verb, regular verb, and irregular verb. So, we're going to tackle this one by one. So, first, finite verbs. So, so let us wait. The teacher bot will load everything. Okay, so then back red. Finite verbs are such kinds of verbs that have a definite relation with a subject or noun. Um, usually, these verbs are the main verb of a clause uh, or sentence and can be changed according to the noun. They are used only in the present and past tense. They can be indicative of number that is singular or plural. Finite verbs examples. He attends his class regularly. He change of person they attend the class regularly change of person they they attend dead the class regularly change of tense attended okay finite verbs are those words that have a definite relation with a subject these verbs are usually the main verb of a clause or sentence and can be changed according to the subject. Example, she walks home. They walk home. I speak English. She speaks English. I love parades. She loves parades. Pop love parades. Non-finite verb. So let us wait for the chat bot or the teacher bot uh, load everything. Okay, so then after that one, uh, I'm going to back red. So non-finite verb. Such types of verbs cannot be the main verb of a clause or sentence as they do not talk about the action that is being performed by the subject or noun they did not indicate any tense uh, learn all 12 types of tenses with example that is another lesson the mood or gender we can also use the these verbs as nouns adverbs and adjectives these types of verbs are also used to form non-finite clauses which are simply dependent clauses that use non-finite verbs Examples of non-finite verb, he invited his friends to like his post on Facebook, non-finite verb. They invited their friends to, to like their post on Facebook, uh, that is the sample, so non-finite verb. In the above sentences, uh, the verb to like is not affected by the chains in the tense and number, so it is non finite form of the verb so more examples of non-finite verb number one he loves camping in the woods here the non-finite verb is camping and it is used and it and it is used as a noun so these kinds of non-finite verb are called gerunds camping okay gerunds number two i need to i need to go to sleep here the non-finite verb phrase is to sleep. 
it is an acting as na- a noun. The non-finite verbs use a uh, used to so before they are called infinitive so to uh, to sleep. Then number three, the sleeping dog caused a delay. Here the non-finite verb has ing or ing form and is acting as an adjective. So non-finite verbs that have ing or ed or ed as suffixes and cause the verb to become an adjective are called participles. So we have the participle cause a delay. Cause the word cause. So we have non-finite verbs uh, are not actual verbs. They do not work as verbs in the sentence. Rather, they work as nouns, adjectives, and adverbs, etc. So, example, Alex went abroad to play. To play infinitives. I have a broken bat. So, past participle broken. Walking is a good habit. Walking. Okay, that is Duran. Okay, let's proceed to action verbs. So, let us wait the teacher bought load everything then after that one back red so we have action verb an action verb is an also is also known as the main verb principal verb and lexical verb all these types of verbs talk about what the subject is doing in the sentence so action verbs are one of the most easily identifiable types of verbs in English grammar. To identify or recognize these verbs, we simply have to look for the words in the sentence that answers the questions in the sentence. So what is the sentence sub- what is the subject doing okay, rather? So for example, Rose is painting the kitchen walls. So here, what is Rose pe- painting? Mm, that is a capital R in the Rose. Um, there are two types of action verbs in the grammar. So we have that would be uh, transitive and intransitive verbs. So that would be the next topic. So here, uh, for example, Rose is painting the kitchen wall. So uh, what is Rose doing? So that would the Rose with the capital letter. I yeah, will edit that one later. So these are two types of action verbs. So that's the next step in the English grammar. So you have transitive and intransitive verbs so we have action verb we have transitive verbs and intransitive verbs so we first talk, uh, click the transitive verbs so transitive verbs are such kinds of verbs in which action verbs have definite object and which for which the action is being performed that means that the action has definite recipient or object. So to identify them, you can ask the question, what is the subject, uh, what is the object being affected by the verb? So we have here the sample transitive verbs. Example, Rose is painting the kitchen wall. So what is Rose painting? So the answer is the kitchen wall. So thus we see that there is a specific object on the action is done so it's been corrected here so examples of transitive verbs have transitive verb is in green and then bold the direct object is in red so let us view the picture so examples of transitive verbs so we have there could you bring an umbrella so green that is a uh, bring uh, roller green uh, transitive and the direct object in, in red, an umbrella. So they bought a yacht. I read all his books. He teaches driving. You promised to take us home. She plays the drum. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, intransitive verb. Okay, let us wait. Everything will be loaded. Okay. So let us have the back red. Intransitive verbs are shown in an action, but here there is no specific object which the action is being done. So to recognize this verse, we ask the question, what is the object being affected by the verb? 
So, if there is no answer present in the sentence, uh, four types of sentence that is in the, in the language grammar, so we can say that the verb in the sentence is an intransitive. So, intransitive example, uh, Rose is painting right now. So, in the previous example, Rose is painting the kitchen wall. So, this time, uh, Rose is painting right now. So, what is, what is Rose painting? So, this no answer in it. Okay. This means that in the sentence, painting is an intransitive verb. An intransitive verb telling us the action of the subject, but there is no specific object for the action. So, we have here the intransitive verb sample. So, we will view the pictures on it. So, we have a lot of examples. So, let us zoom. Agree, appear, arrive, become, belong, collapse, consist, cause, cough, cry, depend, die, disappear, emerge, exist. Explode, fade, fall, fast, float. Then fry, gallop, go, grow, happen, have, hiccup, inquire, jump, kneel, knock, that is sound, last, endure, laugh, lead, lean, leap, learn, left, lie, limp, listen, Leave, look, march, mourn, move, occur, panic, party, pause, keep, pose, punch, punch, pout, spray, print, red, decline, relax, relent. Remain, respond, result, revolt, rise, roll, run, rush, sail, scream, shake, shout, sigh, sit, skip, sleep, slide, smell, smile, snarl, sneeze, soak, spin, spit, sprint, squeak, stagger, stand, stay, swim, swing, twist, vanish, vomit, Wade, wait, wait, walk, wander, wait. So there are a lot of examples of the words in the intransitive words. So moving on, we have now auxiliaries. So let us wait for the teacher about to load everything. So we have here. Helping or auxiliary verbs. An auxiliary is also called helping auxiliaries or verbal auxiliary verb. The helping verbs are verbs that, as their name suggests, help the main verb in a sentence by extending the main meaning of the verb. So these types of verb assist the main verb, showing time and meaning. So two types of helping verbs in this grammar. Primary auxiliary verb and modal auxiliary verb. So we have here helping verb, primary auxiliary verb, auxiliary verb, modal auxiliary verb. So we have first the primary. So let us wait. I think to be loaded. Okay. You can then back read. Primary auxiliary verb. This verbs function both as helping the main verb. So, be, do, and have. Primaries, primary auxiliary verb examples. He is the boss here. So, she has her own car. So, primaries, we have number one, be. Number two, do. Number three, have. So, we have the functions and examples. Be is a linking, sub, is linking uh, subject and complement. So, the example is, he is the best teacher. Underline word, the best teacher. Showing continuous aspect. She is studying hard. Studying is the underlying word. Showing passive voice. The class is cancelled. The underlying word there is cancelled. Creating questions. Uh, is, is the class cancelled? 
So the class canceled is being underlined. Number to do. So offering do support or emphasis. So she did not do well. Underline word not do. Creating questions. Did she do well in the exam? So she will do in the exam is the underlined word do. Okay, next number three. Showing perfect aspect. I have studied I have studied every day. So we have here the other word studied. Creating questions. Have you studied hard? So you have studied hard is the uh, okay, so let's proceed to the model. Okay, so the model. Model auxiliary verbs. So these verbs are used to change the tone and mood of the main verb. Can, could, may, might, shall, will, would, should, must, and ought to are called co modal auxiliary verbs. So modal auxiliary verbs examples. She can run fast. You should study English. So we have here the sample. So let us look on the picture okay, in the image then zoom it okay. so we have here Sarah can play the piano so this ability Sam can lift weights in ability uh, Da Vinci could paint well ability in the past then can build good wood you bring me a cup of coffee polite request can may I go to park with my friends? So yeah. Then you may, uh, you can may watch TV giving permission. Smoking can cause cancer possibility. They can't be friends in possibility. You must work hard obligation. Okay, number ten sample. She must be rich certainty. You must not. Drive fast prohibition. Mustn't drive fast prohibition. Then I have to take a taxi yesterday as I was late to work. Obligation in the past. Okay, so next, moving on, another uh, photo or image. So let us zoom. So we have here model verb scan. So this would be another example so ability ability i can speak english informal permission can i open the window informal request can i have a glass of water possibility anyone can be rich and famous can could may and might are model verbs that can be used to give permission or deny permission so we have the comment here on the other side so must must and have to with the must uh, we, with must the speaker are giving their own feelings saying what they think is necessary we have two speakers are no giving are not are no giving their feelings they are just giving facts okay can't impossibility you can't be 30 i thought you were about 20 years old so may uh, possibility so we have here another theme and may and might we often read the might suggest a small responsibility that may there is in fact a little difference and might is more useful than may in spoken english we have the could it's asking permission how could okay, could i borrow your book a okay, polite request could you say some uh, could you say it again more slowly then number three ability to in the past she could read with when uh, when she was four the suggestion we could try to fix ourselves then possibility i think we could have another gulf war so that would be an example the okay, next mass number one deduction or certainty they that must be Jerry, they said she was tall with red hair. Number two, obligation. Must involve speaker's authority or opinion. Uh, you must go to bed, said her mom. 
uh, you have their mask and the must not prohibition you must not swim in that river it is full of crocodiles then have two obligation base uh, of law or rule the speaker early says that obligation exists and doesn't impose an obligation so i have to wear a uniform in my school have got to is also common in the informal language okay so we have another one don't have or don't have to it is not necessary to do something you can do it if you want but it is not necessary she doesn't have to finish her composition tonight so yeah then the last one uh, the other the last two rather may possibility so he may run the marathon this year polite permission or request may I go now yes you may so we have here might might is the most common use to express possibility english speakers can also use might to make suggestions or requests but this is less common in american english be careful you might fall so we have there remember so may might and could are uh, most intelligible express the possibility that something will happen remember could not a versus might not could not suggest that it is impossible for something to happen might not suggest you may not know if something happens so so that be all about the models then after that one we proceed to linking verbs so send so the link and let's wait for the everything will be loaded so most auxiliary verb modal modal auxiliary verb so these verbs are used to change the tone mode of the verb so can could may might shall would mustn't and open called modal auxiliary so modal auxiliary verb example so we have to try in english so different difference between linking and helping verbs so we have here i am tall the so linking verb I am running, helping verb. In the example, the same word can be used in, as a linking verb as well as helping verb. So, linking verb examples. He is the manager. Her, uh, the verb is adding information to the subject, he. They are naughty children. Here are is the linking verb joining the subject, they. So, to complement the naughty children. So we have here the sample. So linking verbs do not express action. They connect subject to the verb to additional information about the subject. Here's the common linking verbs list. So am, um, is, are, was, were, appear, become, feel, has been, have been, had been, will be, shall be, shall be, grow, look, remain, may be, might be, can be, should be, would have been would have been okay seem then sound takes another example so we have here examples of the linking verb be i am a doctor my name is susan the sky was gray rachel will be three in november appear the diamonds appeared to be genuine or genuine become pollution from cars has become a major problem okay feel i feel awful about forgetting her birthday he grows she grows pretty every day look you look tired you should go to bed remain she remains undecided about what to do then on the last portion okay let us see if we can read the last portion okay okay seems she seems your Okay, so you cannot read that last one. Okay, next regular verbs. So we have regular or weak verb. Uh, those verbs that form their past participle, ed or ed are suffixes or regular verbs. So these verbs do not undergo substantial changes while changing forms between tenses. These verbs are called weak verbs. So regular verb examples 
Uh, we have here present, past, and past participle. So decay, decay, decay. Amuse, amused, amused. Command, commanded, commanded. Explained, explained, explained. Impress, impress, impress. So we have here 50 regular verbs. So let us try to read. Uh, we have here number one. Accept, accepted, accepted, act, acted, acted, bake, 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 behave, 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 close, clo closed, closed, compared, compare, compare, compared, compared, compete, competed, competed, die, die, died, disagree, disagreed, disagreed, disturb, 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 dress, dressed, dress, dry, 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 eliminate. Uh, eliminate, eliminate, eliminated, eliminated, and ended, ended, enjoy, enjoyed, enjoyed, fix, 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 follow, 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 freeze, 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 19, fry, fry, fried, greet, greeted, greeted, guess, 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 hunt, hunted, hunted, identify, identify, identified, imagine, 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 invite, invite, invited, join, 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 jump, jumped, jump, knock, 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 okay, love, 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 manage, 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 mark, 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 match, okay, match, match, name, named, name, name, need, needed, needed, open, opened, open, order, ordered, ordered, Organize, 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 pack, 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 paint, painted, painted, pass, 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 perform, 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 persuade, persuaded, persuaded, program, 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 protect, protected, protected, review, reviewed, reviewed, shop, 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 slow, slowed, slowed, turn, turned, turned. Underlined, 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 wanted, wanted, they okay, want, wanted, wanted. So these are the 50, there are a lot more. Then proceed, regular verbs. So let us wait till the teacher bot will load everything. Okay, we have there the irregular verbs. So... Regular or strong verb. Regular verbs are those verbs that change their form completely in changing the base form of the past participle of the superb. Most of the time, their form, their past times by change in the main vowel of the present tense and without addition or ending. We cannot tell or predict what is the regular or strong verb is going to take to change the, the tense as in a change of tense. One has to memorize the, the changes being forms initially is as later with a practical and uh, regular verbs examples run 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 awake awoke awoken choose just to send forgive forgave forgiven bring brought up and we have here the 75 examples so let us view so beat beat beaten become became come begin begun begun bend bent bent bet 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 Bite, bit, bite, bite, or beaten. Bleed, bled, bled. Blow, blue, blown. Brick, broke, broken. Breed, bread, bread. Bring, brought, brought. Build, belt, belt. Buy, bought, bought. Catch, caught, caught. Choose, 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 chosen. Come, came, come. Cause, cause, cause. Cat, cat, cat. Do, did, done. Dig, dug, dug. Draw, drew, drawn. Dream, 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 um, drink, drunk, drunk, drive, drug, driven, eat, ate, eaten, fall, fell, fallen, free, feed, fed, fed, feel, felt, felt, fight, fought, fought, find, found, found, flew, apply, flow, flown, rather, forget, forgot, forgotten, forgive, forgave, forgiven, freeze, froze, frozen, get, got, got, Give, gave, given, go, went, gone, grow, grew, grown, have, had, had, hear, heard, heard, hide, hid, hidden, hit, 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 
hold, held, held, hurt, 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 keep, kept, kept, no, new, known, lay, laid, laid, led, lead, led, leave, left, left, lend, lent, lent, then lose, lost, lost, make, made, made, been, meant, meant, meet, met, met, pay, paid, paid, put, 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 read, 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 Rise, rose, risen, run, 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 say, said, said, see, so seen, sell, sold, sold, send, 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 sit, sat, sat, sleep, slept, slept, speak, spoke, spoken, spend, 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 take, took, taken, teach, told, told, tell, told, told, think, told, told, understand, understood, understood, where, were, worn, win, won, won, write, wrote, written. Okay, so that will be the sample. There are a lot more samples in here. So we have here the reference. The, uh, I got the reference from HPS or formg.com types of verbs. So after presenting the verbs, uh, you need to read it read back read for you to recall all the lessons and for the check up test. So if you are ready, then have to kiss the button. So I'm presenting here the lessons about verbs so, so in improving the lesson 3 for example in, in this uh, lesson lesson 3 is about verbs so, so look at um, types of verbs in English so we tackled one by one and also having the example so we have finite verb, nothing verb, action verb, helping verb, linking verb, regular verb and irregular verb so uh, for the quiz, um, we will have to do it in the next video or session that we have. So for the meantime, I just show to you the how uh, what would be the content of the lesson three that I have made. So we have here um, the text about the welcome, and then also we have in I integrated here the image, and also I integrated also the quick buttons. So, quick reply buttons for the this one for the types of verbs, uh, finite verbs, and then also the non finite verb and so on. For the rest of the lesson, we have active verbs, button, transitive verb buttons, intransitive verb buttons. So, that would be all quick reply. Auxiliary verbs. If you use the quick reply, um, we, uh, we can have to pause for a while the lesson so we give ample time for the student to read the whole lesson so we have the modal linking verb then regular verbs irregular verbs okay so this time uh, we have to end up with a quiz so uh, for the quiz 3 um, we will do this one in the separate video so okay hope that I can contribute again for the improvement of your teacher book okay that's all for this the session thank you